Well, a few weeks ago, we told you about the growing concern from school leaders about the large amount of teacher openings here in Indiana still yet to be filled. Yeah, a former Indiana teacher who decided to walk away from teaching after nearly two decades is sharing her story with our Matthew Fultz, who spoke with her. What really was the kicker for me was, you know, my five-year-old asking me why I was sad. Carissa Hartwick reflects on what drove her to walk away from teaching at Decatur Township Schools. They were seeing it on both mom and dad, and I thought this is, is it's just not the way I want to raise my kids. Hartwick and her husband taught in Indiana, each for 18 years, recently ending their last school year just a few weeks ago and moving to New York. She says years ago, teachers could make things fun and interactive, but that's not always the case now. We didn't have any freedom to be able to do what we knew would work for our kids. Now, teaching, you don't have that luxury. You are under a microscope all day, every day, by everyone, by the parents, by administration, by the state. It's always about a number. It's always about a test score. And it's that stress that Hartwick believes is leading other teachers to quit or walk away from the profession, along with pay. The average salary in Indiana is $53,000 compared to $70,000 in Illinois or $63,000 in Ohio. And for Hartwick, any raises she saw didn't keep up with the hike in other critical costs. All of my health care costs went up. The amount that they're contributing to my health care went down. My out-of-pocket went up, things like that. So that was difficult. In the end, it was her mental health that was most important for her, but hopes more teachers can push through and be there for the students. And so to make the choice to leave that is very, very difficult. But again, at the end of the day, it's, it's about my boys, and I want them to have the best parents that they can. And you can see she was really emotional during that interview, and it was definitely not easy for her to leave and also leave her family, who is still here in Indiana. She tells me her sister also teaches here in Indiana. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah. certainly, certainly a tough time. And you look, you look at the numbers, like about how many openings are we looking at across yeah, the state? So yeah, so right now across the state in Indiana, there's currently about 2,300 open positions, mm -hmm. about 520 for elementary, 550 for middle, and about 800 at the high school wow. level. So, that's school and that's and that's weeks, and yeah. most of them we're talking about needing to be start by August 1st. So.